Josh Schuster re-signs with the Manly Seagulls. Three-year deal only a day after <laughs> Luke Brooks was signed a four-year deal. Uh, so this is positive news for the Manly Seagulls. I'm worried about losing, possibly losing Josh. Rumours, speculation that he's looking elsewhere. The Tigers, some interest there. Maybe, maybe not. $2.5 million for a back rower. Madness. Madness. Like yesterday, I thought they got themselves a pretty good deal with Luke Brooks. You know, he, they got him for, what, around six sixty a season over four years. Not bad money for, you know, an NRL playmaker. But to spend, what is it, $800,000 plus a season on a guy with what we've seen so far from Josh Schuster is that he is supremely talented. But has he got the worth ethic, ethic and has he got the mental and physical toughness to cut it week in, week out, season after season as an NRL edge forward. When, when you put his wage up against the likes of the top back rowers in the game, I think there's Vafita on a million dollars. There's Murata and Let's Crawl. have a look. Let's have a look. So you're right, Crawls. Here it is. The, the NRL Rich 100, the Daily Telegraph, have done this of late. Now, Dave Vafita is on a million dollars a year. Nia Cora is on 840. He's the third highest paid back row in the competition. Tyson Fazell at 750. Let's have a look at some other notables that are getting paid less than Schuster. Kafusi 750. Kickow is on less at 750 at the Bulldogs. Ola Kuar to 650. Nakora and then Nanai at 550. Liam Martin not even on the list, which says Liam a lot. Martin. Liam Martin not even on the list. So wow. this this is a lot of money for a guy that's going from 58 into the back row. Uh, and, and you're right, he's really unproven. And not only on the field as a player. Plenty of potential, no doubt about it. One of the most skillful players in the comp, but still unproven and even off the field you mm. know, in terms of his yes, discipline the, and ability to, to train like ethic. the rest of them. Yep. <clears throat> well, that's the worrying signs because he sat out of the World Cup to get himself right to have a big season. And that's when I went, wow, this, like, that's a great move. And I thought it was really mature and it was time for him to elevate his game. And then he's had a lot of opportunities this year with blokes out for him to stand up and own some performances. And that's at 5'8". Yeah. Well, and Every that's single... where he wanted to play. And that was, of course, that's like what he a said bit last of a year. That's what Kieran Foran left. Right. Every yeah. single one of those players on that list are, have represented their state or country. Um, and certainly, uh, Josh hasn't done that at this point in time. I think it's. Well, absolutely... he was selected to represent his country, but pulled out. Fair, fair call. I, I think it's staggering. I, I, I'm absolutely gobsmacked on how Manly can uh, justify going to that level of salary for someone who's so unproven. Mm. Uh, in the back row position. And when you look at the the way that the back row plays, he, he, very much a ball-playing back rower he would be. But the, all those gun back rowers mm. on that list are powerful ball runners and hole runners. Mm. Second to that, guys, I've got some major concerns in, in relation to this salary. Mm. When you start to factor in Daly Cherry Evans' salary, Tom Trebojevic's 1.1. Jake Trebojevic in at around 900. Luke Brooks, four-year deal. Why they went to four years for Luke, I'm not too sure. Don't know if that was necessary. Mm. They have a lot of money now with Schuster at 800 to the point where I've got no doubt the roster will need a shake-up and someone will fall out mm. significantly. It has to. You can't have that much money tied up in only five to six players. Well, they're going all in. So they'll end up having to lose some players. There's no doubt. So the players will have to leave the club over the next, you know, back end of the season. But they've still bought well, don't you think? Or you, you know, even though they've gone all in, they, they needed to, to work quick they, because they've paid so much on their salary cap. They need success almost instantly, right? They can lose a few players. Well, they won't be able to re-sign a lot of those I players. I can't argue that they've bought well when you're paying almost double what I believe in as, as far as my what, conversations around the game today. Though? Schuster sits around at a four. But what's your concern mark. though? Because like, they they've obviously bought because they're big going no to have tap. I believe they'll have to tap a player or two on yeah. the shoulder. And they're not going too well as it is, you know. Like, like when you say they've bought well, what mm. are we talking about? Luke Brooks well, and... Yeah, who? well, it's a good point. You know we, what I we mean? Don't like, know, we don't know they if they've bought well. well. We don't know. Like, I honestly, the jury's I thought, out. It always I is. Brooks, I, I really think Brooks well, can work with buy? DC. Is I do. I think he is. Okay. I think for that price... Why like, did they have to go to that's, four years? That's, well, he's 28 years of age and, and you know, you've, you've got him. You've got him working with DCE. I it, didn't hear, it opens I didn't a premiership hear one, two, window six, in that seven respect. Club down but you've their also got Luke Tom Brooks. on 1.15. And the fact of the matter is, in the last five years, Tom's played 55 games. You know, he's, he's been a very, very unlucky. But it is a concern for the club. And then you're putting, you know, you're paying for promise with Schuster. 
It's, it's, you're not paying for what you've seen so far. And all those back rowers that are below him at other clubs, the Liam Martins and There's kick no hours, it, it's just crazy. You would roll that dice for Tommy. You know, Tommy's yeah. been a little bit unlucky. Like that injury in the state of origin, that was a little bit unlucky. But just a, uh, a potential. And Luke Brooks, I do think it's a, it's a good signing. But, yeah, we're unsure because he was... You know, he's had six good weeks of footy. Let's mm. just Does say. it jeopardise maybe if DC wants to play on a couple of years, considering how much they've paid? <laughs> well, he'll have to take... A, he'll have to drop. And to my he goes backwards. He, my understanding is his salary does go backwards to okay. about 800000 next year. It's still a significant amount on the cap. When you when you are tying so many uh, big, uh, what, 850-plus contracts into five or six players... Mm. Um, and still, still without a recognised hooker, all respect to Croker, mm. I think he's a talented player, but not a recognised dummy half as well when you're so throwing 800 year, at a back row. Next lower. year, DCE is on the same money as Schuster. Exactly. Oof, that's interesting. Schuster said today that he wants to captain the club. See him as a captain? Not at this point, I don't know. And, um, you know, earlier this year, Daily Cherry Evans gave him a pretty big takedown in public when he spoke about his attitude and the fact that he needed to get himself in shape. And I think he's thinking ahead of himself at the moment. Like, um, at the start of the season, he wanted to concentrate and be in 5'8". Now, the club's brought in Luke Brooks to be the 5'8". Next year, he moves back to the back row. He's got a little bit on his plate. Yeah, all right. So, all in all, have they done well here or they haven't mainly? I'm, I'm, have they bought well or not? Look, I think... look. OK, they've recruited well. Tolu Kola, good, good re-signing. Jackson Borlo comes over from the Roosters. Obviously, Luke Brooks is a good buyer, but I'm concerned about the four years. Mm. I, I'm, I'm, You're not sold, I'm not mate. sold, mate, yeah. on, on the fact that... There's a that bit of doubt. It's, it's, With the money they've paid it's for, overs, for the players. It's overs for It's sure overs for a back row when you talk yeah. about Liam Martin and all the other players that yeah. he's been paid more than it's Time overs. will tell. They could pay the price for that one. We'll find 